This video is about the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. It's part four of this series of videos about cellular respiration, part of our AP Bio review series. Explain how the mitochondrial electron transport chain generates ATP. Cellular respiration can be used to generate heat instead of ATP. Explain. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we believe that AP Bio success comes from interacting and feedback. And that's what we provide on learn-biology.com. Your free trial comes with a money back guarantee. This is such a beautiful and important process. Let's go through it. In the previous phases of cellular respiration, glycolysis, the link reaction, Krebs, we've been creating NADH and FADH2. Those are mobile electron carriers. They've been accumulating in the mitochondrial matrix and they diffuse over to the inner membrane where they're oxidized. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Those electrons now flow through an electron transport chain. That's this yellow arrow over here. And that's a series of membrane embedded proteins that are in the mitochondrial inner membrane. So it's as if there's an electrical current that's flowing along the mitochondrial membrane through these various proteins. Notice that NADH comes in first. It has a little bit more energy in its electrons than FADH2, which drops its electrons off a little bit further on down the chain. Some of these electron transport proteins are proton pumps and they pump protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Pumping is active transport that requires energy. Where's the energy from? It's from this flow of electrons. Notice that there's less protons over here and more over here. Again, active transport requires energy and that creates an electrochemical gradient. There's more protons over here fewer over here. There's more positive charges over here. There's fewer positive charges over here. It's also a pH gradient because the pH is much lower in the intermembrane space than it is in the matrix. All those protons are trapped. Oxygen acts as the final electron acceptor. And what it's doing is it's so electronegative that it's pulling electrons down this electron transport chain. And as it does, it absorbs electrons and protons that are available in the matrix, and that increases the gradient. This is why you need oxygen to do aerobic respiration, because it's the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain. Now, all of these protons have been accumulated here. They can't diffuse through any part of the inner membrane except through one channel. That's called ATP synthase. It's the same that we discussed when we discussed photosynthesis. It's a channel and it's an enzyme. As protons diffuse through, so that's diffusion, it's facilitated diffusion, their kinetic energy is used to create ATP from ADP and phosphate. That's how the electron transport chain generates ATP. Are you looking for a better way to study for the AP Bio exam and to get an A in your AP Bio course? At learn-biology.com, we've got exactly that. We've got quizzes, we've got flashcards, we've got interactive tutorials that'll help you master the material that you're studying. We have comprehensive reviews for the AP Bio exam. We'll help you switch from overwhelmed to outstanding student. See you on learn-biology.com. Cellular respiration can be used to generate heat instead of ATP. Explain. In newborn humans and other mammals and hibernating mammals, there are cells that are called brown fat cells. They're extremely dense with mitochondria. That's where the heat is generated. When body heat is needed, hormones induce a protein channel called thermogenin or UCP, it's also called the uncoupling channel, to form in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So here it is over here. Now notice, in normal cellular respiration, protons that are trapped have to diffuse through ATP synthase, which creates ATP. But now there's an additional channel. So protons diffuse back to the matrix from the intermembrane space without passing through ATP synthase. But all of this activity in the electron transport chain here called the respiratory chain still has to happen. And think about the fact that when 
electrons move through a wire that generates heat through resistance. Well, basically, you can think of the electron transport chain as a wire. The electrons that are moving through it generate heat, but in this case, they generate heat without generating ATP. And that's how cellular respiration can be used to generate heat instead of ATP. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.